world this is mr karate jesus here with another video and this video is to do some feedback on the new guilty gear x third demo that's right the demo is out in japan but i got to play it because of the simple fact i have a japan account so having plus on the uh, japan account will get you access to the guilty gear x third demo and with that is said, this game is freaking phenomenal. I played some of the Guilty Gears back in the PS2 era, and I really wasn't that good at them. Not the best as I was at Street Fighter, but this is an outright amazing game. This is the same developers that made the, the Blaze Blue series and the Persona Arena series. I never really got into the Blaze Blue because there were so many different variations of the game, so I really get, didn't get a chance to buckle down and play an actual version because I always waited to see what they'd done making new versions of the game so I could actually get to play the game. And they never looked like they did. Never in, really into Persona because I don't think it's a really flush out good fighting game in my opinion. Maybe good for fan service, but not just, you know, my cup of tea. But Guilty Gear is something I always like from Arc Systems. And they really made this good. As you can see, from me playing with Soul Bad Guy for the demo, you know, you can play with Soul Bad Guy or Kai. They pretty much are the Ryu and Ken, the Scorpion and Sub-Zero, the Batman and, and Sub Superman of this fighting game universe with that all in mind new features here as you can see with the gameplay of uh soul bad guy he got a freaking dante light transformation he got him a little devil may cry thing going on here now and that's freaking awesome he also looked like he hit the gym a lot and look like john cena on steroids a little bit you know so it's a little bit different from the other uh geared to gear franchises and this is a very good game very fun technique easy to pick up for anyone who's not into fight game you won't be like the guys that's at e3 you know kicking butt you know for an average person but if you put time and practice you know it looks great and the fight mechanics doing the special moves, as you can see, doing signature moves, very, very good. Very, you know, easy to control. I wish I could read the moveset that's in the game, because the simple fact that, you know, it's in Japanese in the demo, so I couldn't really, you know, read and do the moves that I wanted to do and learn, because the simple fact that I don't speak Japanese, so I couldn't read the writing, but... I kind of button mashed my way through the game and picked up using my Street Fighter type mindset and got the hang and feel of the game and it's very fun. I like the way how it looks like. The detail on the PS4 as you can see, the sprites are really done well for the characters. It's got a nice blend with 2D and 3D at the same time. It just looks amazing and I think they come to Japan. Uh, December 4th, I believe, and in North America, it comes out December 16th. I cannot wait to get my hands on this franchise, and, you know, with all the great games coming out for the PS4, having a fighting game coming out right now just feels incredible for you fighting game enthusiasts. And just as I am, I'm a big fan of fighting games, and... I'm kind of aching to play one on my PS4 and I kind of wait for them to come out with a fight stick because I want to try using a fight stick to play certain fighting games. But, you know, right now I'm just using the controller. But the detail in the characters, as you can see Kai right here, you can see Zato, you know, just look amazing. Just look well done animations with the spikes. And great technique and the moves for the characters like i said it's very easy very accessible to do specials um when the real game come out you know if you know anything about Guild the gear they have these certain special called instant kills and what instant killers does you know it's, it's 
it's self-explanatory. It, it's to kill the opponent. You can be at low health, but you can pull this move off if you have enough on your super meter. You can pretty much bust this move out and make a great combat. This adds very in-depth from different other fighters in this fight genre. You know, for the Mortal Kombat, from the Injustice, Street Fighter, and Tekken, all them guys. It's a little bit more element to the game. And the roster is very solid. It's not as big as, you know, the other fighting game that's coming out this year, like Super Smash Bros. But it's a very, very fun game and all around really like this and I cannot wait to the final product up here in the States because I will be up all night having my training session in the Guilty Gear x because it's been a while since we had a good fighting game and I know they had the Injustice port to the PS4 but you know that's, we need something that's model and made and designed for the PS4 and the characters are very into it. As you can see, they got my boy, one of my favorite characters, Venom in the game. He making a return, you know, the, the brother, you know, with the poo stick as a weapon, you know, that, that that's, that's my guy right there. And I'm kind of mad they don't have my favorite, one of my other favorite characters, Johnny in the game, but I could look past that because they got Soul and Kai, and you know, they're some of my favorites. Um, so you can't just like May just making a return, Melina Rage, uh, Axel, um, I know hate to return. I don't know about Dizzy, but she's kind of missing from the equation. Uh, and as you can see, they got a new character like here, Batman. He's new to the franchise, and it's a more characters. I got a new boss. Uh, I can't remember her name, but I was fighting her earlier in the video. And it's an all our new complex game trying to bring it back to the newer generation and show some love to the Gibbs Gear fan. So with all that said, if you ain't got the demo, go play it and have fun because Gibbs Gear is back, baby. <laughs>